Bitcoin has finally arrived at the 48,000 resistance line and is now trying to fight that resistance to break and go to new highs. Today we are going to see what items exactly need to be accomplished in order for us to see that this is not a dead cat bounce or a 1 to 4 candle correction of a major bear trend. Also, after that, we are going to see two possibilities that Bitcoin can now take reaching the 48,000. So stay tuned. The podcast is about to begin. Hello guys, today Monday, the first day of the week and we are again uh, recording the shorter updates, the daily shorter updates about Bitcoin price action. So um, today we are going to discuss, as I said in the intro, the resistance line of the 48k, all the steps that need to be accomplished for us to decide that this is not a dead cat bounce or a 1 to 4 candle correction going up of a major bear trend and finally we are just going to discuss two possibilities in the end of the video closer to the end of the video uh, two possibilities that are still in play for bitcoin now that it has reached the forty-eight thousand dollars resistance line so without further ado let's go to the charts so as usual we will start here with the price to time model just a short 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 update and I'm going to zoom in for those of you still using the phones to watch this show. Uh, so right now we continue to have the four green bars, four green weeks here. And now that we started a new week today, today is the first day of the new week. We have been going down a bit, a bit of a retracement. So we have a red bar. However, you guys can see that we are still on track to possibly achieve the goal or the um, forecast of this price to time model. So it's still possible that we achieve a top this year, but let's see how this evolves. We are, of course, in the log chart of the weekly, and for that chart and the log chart specifically, we have been uh, going above the 20 week SMA. So for the last few weeks, we have been above. Of course, in the linear charts, if those of you that use the linear chart, this has only been done recently only for the last week, the previous week, this green bar over here. So uh, zooming out a bit and then checking the RSI for the price to time model, we continue to be above the orange dashed line. We had a bit of retracement here on the RSI. You guys can see there is a bit of retracement and a small peak over there, but nothing to be alarmed so far. So for the price to time model, that's it. So let's go now to analyze um, the charts that I was telling you about, and we go to the weekly chart. So here we are, and now we are going to discuss exactly what points are really, really important for us to decide if this is a dead cat bounce or not. So first point uh, in order is we need to stay above the 20 week SMA. So the green line you guys see here on the chart, this is the linear chart, the weekly and linear, not log. And so far, you can see that only one week has been above the 20 week SMA, the green line. So one of the first major points of importance here for us to decide if this is a dead cat bounce or not is Bitcoin cannot retrace lower than the 20 week SMA. This is the last line of support now for us to have a confirmation that this trend is a legitimate trend and it's now going up again. So. Even if we have a retracement that goes to the 20 week SMA and then we continue from there going up, this is still confirmed as not a dead cat bounce. So this is one of the points. Another point that's really important for us to see that this is not a dead cat bounce or a one to four candle correction is now that we have started the new week. You guys can see here, we are on a green five of nine count. So it's really important, as I said previously on other videos, that this candle here, the one that is red right now and corresponds to the week that is just starting today, 
this must be closed as a green candle. So basically what we need here is that this candle that opened around $47,021 has to be closed above that level. And this is really important. So then we have two points of confirmation that this is not a dead cat bounce. The previous point, of course, I had three points for this confirmation that this is not a dead cat bounce, but uh, just another continuation of the bull trend is that this candle had to be closed on the green too, around 46 and a half or 47. And that was exactly what happened not even 24 hours ago, just during this uh, last night. Uh, this candle closed around 47. Uh, let me confirm here. So the close was exactly $47,019. So the first point of the three that were major important points for the confirmation of the continuation of the bull trend was that this candle had to close on the green. Now we just have to wait a few more days until the next weekly close to see if this will confirm or not. So those were the three points that were really important. One of them is confirmed already. The two other ones, we just have to wait for the next weekly close on next Monday, just seven days from now. Okay, so let me just take a quick look at the daily chart here. And we are again below the white line that I drew in the last uh, video on Saturday, the live stream of the 100th episode. Uh, so you guys can see here that we are now below it, but still being supported by the 200 period SMA, which is the purple line on the chart. So that's it for the daily. Let's now move to the last point uh, that I would like to discuss with you guys today. So let me just remove these trend lines from here. And this is the daily chart. Uh, but another one I have just to plot the new theories that can come into play. So right now we are achieving this red rectangle here, which is the 48 to 51,000 resistance. And this resistance was created by this support here and by this support here. So this is a very, very important level that needs to be broken in order for Bitcoin to continue the bull trend here. Right now we are trying to break this 48,000 level, as I said before a few videos ago, and I started to discuss this level when we were starting this uh, leg up from here, from the $38,000 level. So right now, this is the level to break. This one will be very, very hard to break, and it might not even be broken uh, at the first try. We might have a retracement and then a continuation. However, the thing that really, really uh, worries me right now is the bearish divergence that we have with the price action and the volume. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Right now, you guys can see here, there is a decrease in volume, but you guys can see here that from the same point, you have, let me just come here, the price, the price action going up the volume going down. So this is a bearish divergence. This is, of course, what I've been talking about. Uh, also, since this morning, I've been tweeting and I also published this in the Telegram group of the FU Money channel. By the way, just before I continue, let me show you guys how you can join that group. So you have this uh, URL here on screen. And if you open this URL on your browser, you will be shown a page where you can click the button there and automatically join the Telegram group. So guys, don't forget, if you want to join the Telegram group and discuss Bitcoin and other markets also with us, just go there. 24 hours a day, there's people discussing and talking about Bitcoin and other markets. So right now, this bullish divergence is what worries me the most. However, However, there is something that I also want to show you guys. So there are two possibilities in play here. Let me just delete this one and delete this one. And I would like to focus a bit more here. So from that, sorry, I have to, I have to use this tool like this. So this, this shows the last 
bearish divert let me just leave this here in any case it might be it might be needed so you guys can see that actually we have a bearish divergence here however this is what might happen we might be rejected here for the first time and if we break this white line to the downside probably we will revisit the lower levels on the green rectangle however there is also the possibility that this can be seen as a triangle so you have the uh, downside of the triangle you have the upper side of the triangle here at the 48,000 resistance and also if we continue to try still inside or above this white trend line here we can have a breakout of this triangle here and this kind of triangle as you guys know this is a bullish kind triangle here so if we break it this side to the upper side it might be very very possible that we are able to break the 48,000 resistance and continue the trend going up however if this is broken to the downside because of the bearish divergence then I'm expecting a retracement of Bitcoin to these levels here on the green box and this goes from 38,000 to 42,000 which was defined by this area of accumulation and this area of resistance around the 42 on the previous swing high. So there are two possibilities in play right now guys you have to be careful you have to keep focused on the charts and see what's going to happen if we break the trend line to the downside it's very very possible that we go down to retest this rectangle here from the 38 to 42 it's very possible that bitcoin can come here find support before continuing to go up and try to break the 48,000 resistance again as i said before the 48,000 resistance is a very very uh strong resistance and it would be very very difficult i said this a long time ago already the 48,000 when we get there will be very hard to break so let's just see a bit closer and you guys can see here i will show you this in a different chart so this is from the 9th of august on and i may come here and show you guys this on the four hour chart it will be easier to see so you guys see here that from the 9th of august we had this uh higher low another higher low and i'm going to point that out for you guys so where is it nine here we have this higher low higher high then another higher low here, then another higher high, then a higher low again, and this was a lower high. So this is what worries me also in, uh, you know, in combination with the fact that we have a bearish divergence. This, this high here was lower than this previous high. So this previous high went to 47,831 and this one went to 47,547. The problem here is that we have a lower high as compared to this high here. Although we have been having uh, higher lows, this high is not higher high. So in this case, I might see a divergence here also in the price action. And this might, in combination with the bearish divergence that I saw with the volume and the price action on the daily chart, might indicate that we are, we are probably, probably, I'm not saying this is going to happen, and this is not financial advice, of course, but I'm saying that probably we are due for a small correction and we might revisit the levels of 38 to 42,000. So guys, beware of that. There are several uh, supports in that way to the 3842. You still have the 50 period SMA here, the yellow line, and you have the 100 period uh, red line on the four hour charts. And also on the daily charts, you still have also the 200 uh, period SMA supporting the price action so far. But just don't forget that we had higher lows and higher highs, but the, the last one, the one that we are now in, this was a lower high. And that is not a good sign if you think of it uh, in combination with the volume going down. You, can, you guys can see here at the daily chart, the volume is going down, the price action is going up. So bearish divergence, 
high, uh, lower high, and this can tell me, or this tells me that we can have a retracement here. Okay, guys. So uh, let me just go back to the full screen. So I hope you enjoyed the short update for today. The points that will make the confirmation. One of them we have already there. It was the close of the previous week above 46 and a half thousand. Now we need another green candle on the weekly close seven days from now and also to maintain the 20 uh, simple moving average on the weekly chart as a point of support. If that is broken, we are in deep trouble. So that was the first point that I discussed today on the short update. The second point is that we have two scenarios right now and one of those two scenarios is we have a bearish divergence, we have a lower high just today, and that might be in order. Those two points together might trigger a retracement that could go to somewhere from 38,000 to 42,000, which is the next uh, major level of support. The second, uh, the second scenario is that we could see a triangle there on the top of this uh, price action to the 48 and 800,000. And if that triangle, the line, the, the, the most upper side of the triangle, which is the horizontal line around the 48 and a half, 48 to 800, if that line is broken to the upside, it might very well trigger the, um, the breaking of that resistance of the 48,000 and continuation to the upside. However, I consider that this bearish divergence and also the lower high we had today are uh, very well in play and have a very big probability of triggering this retracement back down for Bitcoin to find again support around the previous resistance, was what, which was 38,42,000. That interval of, of, of um, levels could be the next level of support for Bitcoin to retest that level before continuing the bull trend up. So guys, keep this in mind. And of course, if you uh, enjoyed this content, uh, gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Don't forget the notification bell and select all if you want to be notified every time I upload a video or I have a live stream, usually on Saturdays. And right now I'm going to leave you. I know you have been missing this. I'm going to leave you guys with the wise words that we used to have before on the channel. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. That's it, guys. Let's be really careful out there in the markets, and I will see you again in the next one. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>